Example 22 on pipe friction in turbulent flow. Water at 80 degrees Celsius where the kinematic viscosity is 5.33 times 10 to the negative 7 square meter per second and the density is 988 kilogram per cubic meter flows in a 150 mm diameter pipe with velocity 7.5 meters per second. Head loss measurements indicate that friction factor is 0 0.02. So remember that this friction factor should be based on the general formula by Colebrook considering smooth and rough pipe because the Reynolds number has contribution also to the flow as well as the roughness. So determine the absolute roughness. So we, we, when you encounter situations like this, you always use the, the formula by Colebrook considering uh, smooth and rough, the transitionally rough pipe one. Then find the shear stress at the pipe wall and what is the value of, we call this strain rate, DVR dy, where y is distance from the wall, remember, by brand near the wall, tau max is rho L square DVR dy, that's the original because y is from the walls. It was DVR dr, but the distance is from the walls. That's why the limits was RO minus R. And we'll just call that y distance from the wall, RO minus R, Y is RO minus Y. So note that this Y is distance from wall. So for the first, uh, let's compute Reynolds number first. Diameter 0.15, velocity 7.5, divide by viscosity 5.53 times 10 to the Kinematic viscosity 5.53 times 10 to the negative 7. So 2,034,358. Then the formula, into the formula because F is known. 1 over square root of F equals negative 2 log quantity E over 3.7D plus 2.51 over Reynolds number square root of F. So remember that this is the formula that I want you to memorize. So that each term, the rough part and the smooth part are present in the equation. So simplifying 1 over square root of 0 0.02 divided by negative 2, then that answers 10 raised to that answer is the value here. So 2.914 times 10 to the negative 4, then what is left on the right side would be E over 3.7 times 150 or E over 555. And this value here is 8.724 times 10 to the negative 6. Therefore, the absolute roughness is quantity 2.914 times 10 to the negative 4 minus 8.724 times 10 to the negative 6 times 555. So we can also solve for the absolute roughness 0.1569 mm. Then find the shear stress at the pipe wall. That's the maximum shear stress. Square root of... No, it is equal to F rho V square over 8. Or gamma head loss diameter over 4L. But we will not compute for the head loss anymore. We'll just use F rho V square over 8. Because the velocity is given, friction factor is also known. Density is also known. So tau max is F rho V square over 8. So 0 0.02 times 988 times 7.5 square over 8. So the maximum shear stress or the shear stress at the wall is 138.9 pascals. Then for the third question, the value of dvr dy. So let's go back to the condition that near the wall tau max is rho L square times dvr dy quantity square. This was dr, but I changed this to dy because y sh should be distance from the wall. And remember the limits here was ro minus r. So I'll just specifically change this to y. Same is true with l. 
it was kr where k is von karman constant 0.4 uh, change that to r but this time let's change it to y because specifically y is distance from the wall so tau max equals density 0.4 y quantity square where 0.4 is the k von karman's constant then dvr dy quantity square so tau max is 138.9 density given then we replace y by ro 0 0.075 meter minus r 0 0.03 then we can evaluate dvr dy so rho 0.4 quantity 0 0.075 minus 0 0.03 quantity square dvr dy square so 138.9 is 988 times quantity 0.4 times quantity 0 0.075 minus 0 0.03 quantity square then dvr dy so we can now compute dvr dy this is meters per second divided by meter so that would be unit less per second or radian per second or you may express the answer as second to the negative one we call this strain rate or angular deformation rate 20.83 radians per second you can put region region is unit less also or simply dvr dy is 20.83 second to the negative one or 20.83 per second so that's it for this problem